We are back for more CT Sports Now on the Vantage Sports Network. Glad you are too. We look towards Saturday and the state high school football championship games. It is going to be a lot of fun. In fact, when we talk about Class S, it always seems to be about one particular team, a specific team that seems to make the championship game. I'm assuming everywhere. you're talking about Ansonia. I don't know, maybe. The man is Kreskin. He read my mind. Clairvoyant. And we're going to start with a conversation that Noah had with Ansonia. It's Tom Brockett. Uh, we're, we're thrilled. We're thrilled to be here. You know, I told our kids last night in the locker room, there's, there's eight teams that are going to play in the state championship on Saturday, and there won't be a program as excited to be there as us. Well, that says a lot, considering how often you guys are there, how many times that you guys have won it. How do you keep that passion, not for you, but with the program? I guess it's just ingrained in that Ansonia culture. Yeah, it's something we don't take for granted. I think that's real hard for people outside those walls to understand that. Um, you know, nobody cares on Saturday about how many titles we've won, what's happened in the past years. Um, you know, it's a brand new team, brand new bunch of kids that are trying to add their chapter and their legacy to Ansonia football, and I think that's real important for those kids to understand. What does it say about your team that you guys have done what you've done to every opponent so far this season? You take the semifinal game, what was it, your first three possessions, you're in the end zone? Yeah, it's been tremendous. Our kids have had such a workmanlike attitude, and I think some of our great teams in the past have been able to do that, but usually when you have an inexperienced team like this, there's been some real bumps in the road and, you know, some real struggles, and sometimes the game gets away from you, and to this point, the kids have been able to avoid that letdown. What does it say as well about your program? I think you're one of the smallest enrollments, uh, you know, boy enrollments in the state and yet you put together this solid team of great stars year after year. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just been uh, a remarkable run Anthony's had long before I was a coach there. Just great players, our kids buy into the tradition. We get great support from our community, and it's been a remarkable football program. Uh, you know, that's takes so many people take such a special role in it. Your opponent on, on Saturday is a team that's new to the, the championship game, but boy, great season for Rocky Hill. What, what can you talk about on this team? They've been tremendous, without a doubt, one of the best teams in Connecticut. Um, you know, they're great in every phase of the game. Uh, it really starts with just a punishing ground game, and their quarterback makes plays happen, you know, so they'll hurt you in the air, and their defense has just been lights out. I mean, they're, they're a tremendous football team. What is it that you're keying on, if anything, as you head into Saturday? you got to try to find a way to slow them down. I mean, nobody's been able to do it. Uh, and then when we get the ball on offense, we got to try a way to, you know, to move it. Um, we've had good success moving the ball this year, but it's going to be a totally different animal that we face on Saturday. Coach Tom Brockett, thanks so much for stopping by, and best of luck this weekend. Thank you. Appreciate it. Time to focus and time to go. 